matchup for her. I'm sure this is something that he's uh, probably dealt, dealt with, at least matchup-wise. So interesting to see what we have here. We have Paul Phoenix. Paul Phoenix, obviously, one of those characters where you get him lower on life, the scarier he becomes. Mm -hmm. Let's see how El Negro... And, it, you know, again, I, I, I mentioned this before, but the rhythm that he plays at, the pacing that he plays at, is not like uh, the players here in America. It's actually very, very different. Ooh, so nice will Bin Chang be able to kind of pick up on this? Yeah, like, that's the thing. I feel like uh, Ben Chang can definitely be, like, kind of thrown for a loop if not played correctly. However, I think it's more going to be, you know, based on the pace at this point. No break on the throw. And and playing this character definitely will give you a little more insight, right? So I like going the opposite side of things, picking the Paul to see if you're going to be able to shut it down. Life leads slightly in favor of El Negro right now. Good punch. Nice. That was a perfect punish. That was so good. Uh, that string is definitely a little uh, deceptive because you can delay it. But if she does finish that last hit of the string, it's always fun. Oh, yeah. It's always looking actually pretty damn good, at least from what we've seen so far. And uh, that first round obviously could have gone either way. However, Bin Chang with the patience at the very end. Oh, look at that back turn. No punish there. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was that? that? No. And just swinging for the fences right now. I feel like we're going to see a switch if this doesn't go El Negro's way. Oh, yeah. And again, it's still mm -hmm. kind of scary. I mean, knowing that it's going to be anybody's match like that. Well, that, I think that's step two that she's doing, actually. Yeah, it's yeah like step two. That move can lead to some amazing damage if, if she's able to land counter hit. Trying to thread it. Oh. Nice. Confirms the flash elbow into the follow-up attack. Oh, the old school mix up. Round three. Down one four. Bam, able to hit. Ooh. Oh, this is going to hurt. Elbow, follow up here. Wall. Uh -uh. Bow. Big damage. Nerfed, but it's still big damage. Yeah. As big as can be, right? Okay. The adjustment here. Nice. Oh, the oh, sidestep the... down four two. Iron Mountain. Uh oh, big damage goes for. Oh, oh he ducked. Hit. The quick tech uses the blue stuff. The negro. Oh, not gonna be able <clears throat> to slow down the groove at all. Ben Chang, three rounds straight over El Negro in this match. That's the the beauty of these longer sets. Now is you have a bit more insurance, a bit more time to adjust to change things up, and we already know as far as changeup goes that. Uh, El Negro has more than just Kunimitsu. Definitely has a Master Raven. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. I feel like those three straight rounds there was maybe a bit too overwhelming in that particular matchup against Bin Chang, and he's going to have to switch over to his, his main main. Yeah, the, the Master Raven definitely kind of... It didn't come out of left field, but how effective it was, I felt like, came out of left field. That would be my pick. Um, I know it's only one game, and typically I'm like, oh, I'll ride it out. But now I'm just <laughs> like, nah, I don't even play with your food. Like... If you feel like that's going to be your best shot, go with your best shot. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, either way, going back into the match right now, Bin Chang up 1-0 in this race to three. Again, so important is this set because if you win here, you are going to be waiting in grand finals where you're guaranteed a top two finish for the tournament. It's and true. from there on, you only have to beat one more person. You only have to beat one more person to win the entire tournament. However, if you lose, you still have to play through the loser's final. And we know uh, there's two very strong players there waiting. Very strong players. And so. even then, it's it's not a guarantee that you'll get in the top two. Or even back to grand finals, you're going to have to fight another grueling set. Yeah, and it's definitely one of those things is like two people are trying to win. You're on this la these last sets. Everybody's trying to win at this point. Mm -hmm. They're playing their hearts out. And on top of that, like they've done a lot to get to this point. So. And there's a switch that we were just talking about. Only a true master. And the precipice of fate. Oh, bro. This means that the wall, the wall game is going to be important. This is a pretty small stage. So oh, yeah. wall carry is going to be crazy. In, in both of these characters, uh, again, have both amazing options at the wall when it comes to damage. But also, uh, restricting their opponent's movement once they get them towards the wall can be really, really scary. Anyways, wow. what, what are you doing wow. here? What are you what are you doing all this extra movement for? Just let me knock you out of there. Down forward two. Oh, here we go. The pickup. He tried rolling forward. That was crazy. Yo, he was just dashing forward. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh. 
And Bin Chang is going in right now. Full aggression. Able to take that round very cleanly there. He's at four rounds straight here in the set so far. Here, we're going to see El Negro has to make some adjustments here. Nice Four flash elbow again. Oh, nice dub. He definitely knows the character. Oh my uh. gosh, this is going to hurt. He went for the he went for the down four again, the demo man. Yo. Oh man. Game Demolition so far right now. El Negro going to have to do something. You do not want to lose six straight rounds. That's what he's saying. It needs a band-aid to uh, stop the bleeding. He is definitely bleeding. Oh. Down four once, just in case. Just in case there's a side step. Trying to wait for the opportunity here. This should be big. I like it here. What you gonna do? Okay, didn't get high enough wall splat to get like an extended combo. Ben Chang, uh-oh, in trouble. Wall splat, big damage, uh. The live down 4-1. Tries to duck on the wall and goes for the key charge. Oh, wait a minute. That's big. That is definitely something that he needed to do to get back on the scoreboard here. But again, Bin Chang with the momentum at the wall now. This is where it becomes scary. Uh-oh. Put the brakes on. Oh, oh I thought he was going to whip punish it. That would have been crazy. Didn't work out. Come on, come on. A little dancing, another down four too. And it seems like Ben Chang has quite the beat on what El Negro wants to achieve. Three rounds straight again, and this is not looking nice. We said this was first to three, um, yep. and already two games down on the side of Ben Chang's Paul, who's looking really, really strong. I mean, he's been able to cut him off at the past. Like each and every time that, you know, he tried to come up with some type of offensive flow, Ben Chang was like, nah, bruh, down four two. Nah, let me duck while standing. Overextending, huh? Yep. Down four to hold that. Yeah, it was rough. That was definitely rough. However, El Negro, I mean, he is an amazing player. I'm sure he's going to adjust and try to figure out other ways to break down his opponent. The thing is, he's been leaving himself open with so many holes that he's he's kind of has to now rely on his defense, in my opinion. I don't think he can really rely on his offense knowing how sharp Bin Chang is. Yeah, and those are some of the tests that you do. Like, while you're playing, like, you're like, well, look, let me see how sharp this person is, right? And it comes to a head, like, sometimes. Because now you're in a situation where you, you're going to switch characters and it's looking tough, right? Oh, and yeah. Master Raven, even though good, was not able to even slow down Ben Chang. So. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the representation that we have currently here in our uh, top eight, or at least the remainder of our top four. So uh, two players in winner's finals right now. We have uh, Washington State from Seattle. We have Bin Chang, and then from Utah, I believe from Salt Lake City, it's uh, it's uh, El Negro. And then in the loser's bracket, we have both uh, Kasuma and Nijisa are both from California. Oh, wow. That's a, a little few ranges covered right there for this yep. online challenge. So going into the matchup here, this is the third match. Sticking to Master Raven, which is kind of what I expected here. Uh, how he takes in the match as far as offensive flow and breaking down his opponent. That's going to be a huge tell. Something's going to have to change. Well, we're, we're about to find out, man. El Negro in trouble. Ben Chang in control. Round one. All right. Paul the Cowboy. Damage on the table. Don't, don't sleep on Master Raven, though. Master Man. Raven def definitely oh, can't. Oh, my extra God. range. It's the extra range. I mean, you know, the old Raven didn't have that extra length on the dagger there. He only had the the, the grunt kunai. Yeah, he had the, like the little whack kunai. My girl, she got an actual katana, bro. Yep. yep. Here we go. Nice stuff there. Able to get that first round. Much needed. Oh, wow. The fake out? Little miss dance right there. Uh uh. Uh uh uh. Big oh man, he, he's definitely turning it up the way he needs to. Look at this. He is going nuts. Uh oh. Not gonna be a lot of damage. We gotta be careful of the red dress. Nice duck. Oh, not fast enough though. Party. Oh man, I like it. Gets the wall bounce. Man, that was a long distance wall bounce, by the way. And could this be what El Negro was planning the whole time is to get Bin Chang so comfortable? 
They can just start going nuts. And they can just smoke them. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? The long play. Playing possum. Oh, he Playing to possum. Man, he's playing back uh, pretty far. It's completely different from what we've seen early on. <gasps> That's going to hurt. Out of range. No duck. He needs to be careful. Any hit can do it. Oh now. my gosh. Mambo? This is going to be big. Is he going to get the wall? Yes. No, doesn't didn't even need, need it. it though. Three rounds straight to stop the momentum of Ben Chang. Wait a minute, El Negro. Wait a minute, he has definitely been playing possum. He just exploded in his face. What do we say about El Negro? Explosive, explosive player, explosive, explosive player. So at the on the last the last breath of fresh air, he's like, I gotta go crazy. He's like, I guess I'll use it. I I actually have to go crazy, or else they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was a that was a lot of TNT there. Uh, I don't know um, what Bin Chang is going to do here, if he's going to switch characters or not. I mean, we all know he has so many characters in his arsenal. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if he switched. Would not be surprised in the slightest. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. Um, but why would you? You don't really need to, right? Like, unless like that that was just like a momentum round. I feel like, but it's always to be better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. However. There's something to say about, you know, going with the characters that you're so used to that it becomes natural. And, you know, for the, for Bin Chang, I feel like it's characters like Claudio, right? Hey, Hachi. Maybe those are the characters that we'll end up seeing. Who knows? I mean, I feel like you never know. The, the thing is, is that, like, that's why I said that, like, the fact that Bin Chang has pulled out multiple characters let you know, might be more comfortable with some of these matchups than the earlier. Like... Paul versus Master Raven, or like, let's just say theoretically, like, you're like, you know what? What if I feel better about Geese, right? He's the player that will make that call and be like, you know what? I'm just going to play Geese so I can get this W and get out of here, you know? Maybe, maybe we'll see. Either way, it's going to be tough. Uh, a player like Bin Chang being able to come back after a 2 0 lead, I think that's going to be tough for any player. However, that explosion that we just saw was quite convincing. Three rounds straight. Yeah, I mean, look, we've been talking about the no-round Browns. We've been talking about the domination of his opponent. But think about it. El Negro still holding it down. Still alive in his tournament. There's the switch to the Claudio. Go with the comfort zone. All right, we're going back to the jungle. Back to the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. All right. Oh, he pulled. He pulled out the. He pulled out the Tims and the Rose shirt. All right. I'm with it. Oh, instant. Oh my gosh, he just went in. And Bin Chang trying to cash in. Let's see what happens. Nice step. Oof. Yo, Bin Chang pulling out the Claudio, and that's definitely a game changer. Nice. Uh oh, just out of range here. Gets the second hit. The follow up should be able to push towards the wall here. What's the mix though? Got him with a mid. Oof. Slash kick. Looking to close him out here. He's gonna have to be careful. Back ben. to the wall. I like it. Back to our power crest. Let's go. Ben Chang's defense is so good in some instances, man. And it's even more when I see El Negro like. Finally, like, get the opening. There's really two good players right here. Yep. Nice hop kick here. Gets the follow up. Goes for the shoulder lean as well. Oh, uh -oh. nice. Oh, that's going to add up. Did get a big wall combo, but still got the hit. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, oh, my. Everything's hitting, Steve. Up. What's going on? The oh. oh, the delay? Yo, Ducks. That was the reversal. El Negro Dude. getting a little loose with it and going he, for the shoot. It's more than loose. I don't know what happened. Um, he just went wild. He's looking to tie it up here against Claudio. <gasps> that was so sick. I will say, El Negro understands. Everybody wants to be a ninja. Everybody. Even Claudio wants to. He's confused. Uh oh, big trade. Follow up here. What's going to happen? Into the back turn throw. <gasps> Thought he was gonna win punish it. That would have been crazy. 
There it is. Okay. Running two. Okay. Or, final round. This is a big or, round because either Bin Chang is going to secure a grand final spot or it'll be all tied up. What's going to happen? It's all on El Negro here to make a difference. Nice. Hi. Punish here and the follow up. Looking really good here for Bin Chang here. Half life lead. Man. Good block. Bin Chang, <gasps> Caught him. Punch. Caught him again. The pressure. Oh, and Ben Chang. He hit him with the Iron Mountain. The Italian Mountain. Ben Chang just took full control. 